Show and tell! Yo, he's getting good at that. No, I'm not. You are. See, when I sing, same time you sing, it cancels you out. Oh, it sounds good. I think we oh, I think we hit harmony. We have harmony when we know. do it. Because my elegant voice here just uplifts. Uplifts. Oh, uplifting. Who, knows uplift. Who knows about the uplift? Up for the 36 chamber! Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, anyhow. We'll show go right into show and tell. Jay, you start off because I'm gonna I'm, okay. I'm going into the, I'm going into the Walmart well uh, Walmart sale rack. Okay, well you clearance just rack. clearance rack. I'm just hitting the Walmart like I just you know I I do my random passes. Oh, and, localista and uh, Mary localista, you know, Mary freaking localista. We'll just see some of the random How pickups. You doing, Mary? This time we're going wrestling dolls. Right do now we're going WWF to stuff that we bought. Now hit you off with a little Stone Cold. And Triple H. I yeah. don't have neither of these guys. And I'm like, yo, I got to pick it up. They got the belt in there. Oh, that's a good one. You know, that was a good this. rivalry back in the day when... Oh, when, trust me. When uh, when Triple H was part of, like, Vince McMahon's, like, uh, I don't know what they were called, but... And then Tri Stone Cold just liked to fuck with everybody. But I think, didn't Stone Cold fuck with Vince all the time? Yeah, that's and all he Triple ever did. All and he ever did is fuck with and Vince. And Triple H would come and help? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but, but no, yeah. they were, at uh, one time... Vince McMahon called his little crew like I don't know the they were like the business people of the fucking thing and all and then all Vin, all Stone Cold would do was come down and fuck with them every time they did something like the beer truck and the, yeah he drive all kinds of stupidness down there yeah. and just fuck with all of them yes yeah Stone Cold is awesome yeah that was such a good time in the thing yo the enforce yo Vitron, so, Vitron, what up, yo? We're in the show and tell part of I the show. I got a little build a character here. We're doing the British Bulldog. Uh, so, yo, so we're, we're WWE heavy on uh, build, on uh, build a characters. Yeah, on uh, J Show and Tell part. Well, yeah, it's all WWE. It's so, all WWE. WWE. We got uh, it. what's good, yo? What's good? The King, the King, Look at this Jerry guy. the King Lawler. Jerry the King Lawler. You remember when he had a heart attack live on air, yeah? No. He had a heart attack mid, like, announcing. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they had to almost shut the show down sort of thing. And then they they, they, they shut, they went for this long-ass commercial, came back and did all this other talking. Yeah. Meanwhile, they were doing CPR on the guy, like, out of ringside. I didn't even know that. He had a heart attack at ringside. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was crazy. It was nuts. And then uh, it, it took, like, I don't know, maybe, like, two months, and he, he came back. Right. It was this huge thing. All the rest of I remember he came back, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I didn't know why he left. Yeah, he had he had a heart attack right on uh, right on air, guy. Okay? That's crazy. He just got quiet mid mid what was going on. You know? That's unusual for him. Yeah, to be quiet. Yeah. So we got Kevin Owens. Ko, buddy, this is my dude, Canadian, good old Canadian boy. I always shout out the Canadian boys. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yo, he's he's a he's and, a and this is uh this one is the Money in the Bank. You see the little suitcase he got there? Yes. Yo, Kevin Owens is one of the underground trash talkers because. For a little while, they let Kevin Owens be like the guy who did like some of the social media stuff for for uh, WWE. Yeah, just all like stuff they were putting on Instagram. And yo, this guy talks so much trash. He is a trash to talk. everybody. I like that. Like yo, it was amazing. It was like they would be coming out to the ring and they would film something real quick. Yeah, and he'd just talk a whole bunch of trash. The thing and him and Sami Zayn. Yeah, another another good old Canadian boy. They would talk all this trash and then come down to the ring. It was real good, man. Like. I, Underground trash talker. Yes. Kevin Owens is awesome. For those who like wrestling. We got a little Thank Charlotte like. so let's keep Flair. Us, let's keep us it, in the thing. Yo, Banana, huh? Banana Brett. What's up, Banana Brett? With the championship belt. I, I get everything with belts because I like belts. Yeah. Anything with accessories always end up being a little worse something because you have them plus the accessory. And usually people don't keep the accessories. Yeah, some people lose them. But, you know, we don't open packages, so. No, we don't. We have all the accessories. All the accessories. All the accessories. And you know, out of this batch, I saved the best for last. I'm just a sexy boy. Sexy, sexy boy. boy. I'm not your boy toy. <laughs> yes, the Shawn Michaels, yo. Who, yo, trust who me. like Shawn Michaels? Everybody. You can't. This guy is a legend. He has Banana Boat's Canadian too because he threw up a Canadian flag at the Maple Leaf. Nice. Put up, put up, put up. And he's got a belt on him too. He's, I love the ones with belts. Yeah, guy. It's like, yo, that's... And then they all make the British Bulldog. Is that all of them? That whole set that you just showed, all make the British Bulldog? Yeah. Yo, that's awesome, guys. Okay? It just takes the four dudes to make the British Bulldog? That's why the, when I see the wrestling builder characters, it's like, 
I'm buying that. I'm buying that. Because when all four of them were there, it's like, yeah. what's your excuse? Yeah. Yo, I wore, I wore the, I'm buying <laughs> that shirt to uh, my daughter's jujitsu class. Yeah. And, you know, enough people commented, they're like, yo, what are you buying? What are you buying? And I'm just like, I don't know, what you got? What you got? Because I'm buying that. Yeah. Ooh. People like that, that uh, thing. Yeah. Banana. Let's see. Banana Let's Brent was like, HBK. HBK has one of the best promos that I've ever seen in my life where he was in the back talking to Triple H. Yeah. And and uh and Triple H was kinda egging him on. It was like a, it was a it was a it was a promo meant to egg uh Shawn Michaels on. Right. And he was saying Vince McMahon is saying we're not edgy enough or we're not we're not <laughs> controversial enough. That's uh, it. Oh, yes. We're not controversial enough. He's like, what do you mean we're not controversial? And Shawn Michaels starts losing it. And then he turns to a guy that's just holding a clipboard. He's like, What's your name? And the guy's like Stan. He's like, it's Stan. And bang, he super kicks Stan. And then he's like, see, I just kick Stan. Stan. You know? And you go, and Triple H broke. Triple well, H started laughing. Because then he's like, how do you mean we're not controversial? We're just, and then he started walking down the hallway and yeah. super kicking everybody. In the hallway. In the, it was like, they weren't wrestlers. They were just all I like, know. staff. They're, These men just kicked like. They were khakis. Yeah, they just kicked all the khakis all the way down with all the papers. Papers are flying yeah, everywhere. I remember you know? that. And I, Triple H. Would, like couldn't hold it together. He was laughing. Well, I think it's funny when you just kick up people. <laughs> yeah, and you're. I don't know if Triple H was 100 percent expecting it because I've never seen. You don't see Triple H break a lot. He well, does a break character. He. Well, you gotta think. Did the people getting kicked in their face expect to get kicked? I don't know, man. But it was it was hilarious. So like, see, I just kick Stan. You know, like, was, so I guess when you're the khakis, we'll call them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and you're in. This, in the frame, it's like go with the flow. Something might happen, yeah. Go with the flow, and, and you know. And some of the kicks look. I mean, they're meant to look real, right? They're, they're, but you know, I was like, wow, yo, know, he's he put down some good super kicks on I these mean, guys. He's a wrestler. Yeah, Hogan does it the best. What? He can throw a punch and make it look like it's a real punch. Yeah, like yeah. He, what was he? Oh, the Joe Rogan. So he's on Joe Rogan. He's like, yeah, I fuck, I do that all the time. Yeah, yeah. It's like I know how to hold my punches, pull my punches. Yeah. And, but make it look real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Shawn Michaels, he's a professional guy. Oh, yeah. One of the best of all time, Shawn Michaels. He's kicking your face off yo, and grazing your chest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, the way, yo. Kick your face off. Yo, it was, it was that. <laughs> anybody who doesn't know, just look up HBK Kicks Stan. Oh, yeah. And watch that whole two-minute bit. Oh, dude, that's hilarious. Yo, it's one of the best backstage bits that I've ever seen. But you seen. know my favorite... DX bit is. Which one? Is when they go to WCW. Oh, on the tank? On the tank. Yeah, they just rolled up on a tank to WCW. <laughs> While they're recording, too. And it's like, fuck the show. I, I, to me, that's... And then they come in here doing the, the, the X. Yo, suck it! Suck it! Yo, Banana Brett was like, yo, a clip popped up on Reddit that 13 years ago, John Cena announcing live that they caught Bin Laden. And it was like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember that clip too, yo. Know, like, yo, know, that was a good clip. Like, yes, there's some good stuff that that WWE and anything really amazing that happened with WWE was always like the backstage. Stuff. I mean, there's a a lot of good in ring trash talking stuff yeah. that they did too, but you know those backstage things were always brilliant. Like The Rock, yes, backstage when he fucked with Coach all the time, yes, you know, like and yeah. like he would just do shit to Coach and push him out of, grab the mic and push him off camera and do like yo, know, it was I don't know. I like, there was a time in wrestling when they let that stuff be a little more free. Yes. And it was always, always amazing. I just showed you the Macho Man one, the, the old Macho Man one, <laughs> where they just took, it's like a 20 second promo. <laughs> and he's talking about doing it, and, and, and Elizabeth is shining the belt. And he said, I'm the champion, and it ain't that right, Elizabeth. And Elizabeth, yeah, Macho Man. When he's, and he's like, shut up! Keep polishing the belt. If I lose tonight, it's your fault. You know, it just, and that was it. That was the promo. It was just, what? What? Why I love that promo is he asked yeah, her a question. Yeah, we love to hate Coach. He asked her a question. Yeah, he asked her a question. And she answered. Done. He's <laughs> like, "Shut up!" <laughs> the fucking. Uh, uh, was, that makes me. That makes me die when yeah, I see that. That promo. But, that promo was gold too. Yeah, but you know, now in the good old cocaine days when they were all fucking. Nowadays, they do two lines, and then they shoot the promo. But now fucking come in. Rah! You couldn't get away with that, Dave. Yeah, I know. But no, woman's right. It, would, you know, it's still hilarious though. Don't talk to women. Anymore. Anybody who, who likes that stuff knows how hilarious that is. Anyhow. It was meant to be a joke. We're going to move on real quick. Move in. Today's Dave Show and Tell. And all of these things right here that you see me holding uh, came off the clearance rack. Oh, nice. 
this this uh the this first thing. one I've I've been eyeing that for a while. Yeah, yeah. And it was on the clearance rack for twenty bucks, twenty five bucks, let's see. So I grabbed Iron Man in his the very first shirt, the model one, yeah. like the Mach one or model one. Is this the build a character? No. Uh, I don't think so. I don't it doesn't even matter to me. It was just because it was twenty bucks. See, there's they have him. Yeah. But it's a build a character. Oh, do they? Yeah. There's that there's that Mach one, the Iron Man Mach One. Look, bought off the clearance rack, there's the clearance sticker right there. Uh, I'm gonna save this one because this one was huge. But um, I also found like this guy was for like uh, this is uh, the Mandalorian, but before he put his helmet on. Oh but really? His name is Din Din Djarin? How do you say that? Din Djarin? Look at that name. You said Din Din Djarin. Din Djarin. I should probably know this as a star one. Din Djarin. Yeah, sounds good to me. Yeah. Off the clearance rack, didn't marked, even... marked down from like 60 bucks or whatever. What did they say it was marked down? Didn't even say it was marked down from, but I know he was up like 59.99 for a long time and marked down to 35 bucks. I was like, yo, I gotta grab, I gotta grab the Mandalorian without his helmet. This was like before he was even, he even put his helmet on and became the, the Mandalorian, Mandalorian and all that stuff, right? Because Mandalorians are not supposed to take your helmet off. Oh, really? So the fact that he's off and you see his face is to me an awesome you... character. Do you see his face in the show at all? Yes. You see his face in the show at the beginning, but from then he never takes his mask off after. Until there was a point where Luke Skywalker made this huge comeback. Like they had this like Yeah. Uh, Luke Skywalker came to get the little Yoda, the little baby Yoda. Right. And Din Djarin took his helmet off so that Yoda could see his face, the baby Yoda could see his face. And that was like the the second time like he started the show with no mask. Right. And then he had his mask on the whole time and then he showed the kid is face, and he's never taken it off since. He only took it off that one time for Baby Yoda to see his face. Because they have, like, this thing. Like, it's almost like Baby Yoda's his son. Right. You know? So, anyhow. And then there's this thing, HK87. This was just there for 20 bucks on the rack. So, I was like, yo, why not grab that? Because it was there. You know? Look at that. See, see the clearance rack uh, price down there? Got this guy off of the clearance rack. Bang, bang, bang. You yeah. know? And this is the big one, uh, Omega, from, from the Bad Batch. You know I have all the Bad Batch guys over there. Yes, I do. And this one, when Omega was little, the Bad Batch Omega that I that I bought recently right. and showed you guys on Show & Tell a few weeks back was she's a little bit older because time had passed. Right. This is the original Omega from the original show. Right. And she was just on the clearance rack out of nowhere. I had never even seen her in Walmart. Right. I'd never even seen any of the real ones in Walmart. Because they probably don't last too long. And bang, out of nowhere, she was just on the clearance rack for 20 bucks. And I was just like, yo, I happened, I just walked by and looked and saw it. And I was like, what the fuck? I have all, look, right back here, Jay. I see them she, all. All the Bad Batch ones yes. at the bottom. All the all the pink or whatever color this is. Maroon yep. or whatever. Yeah. Yes. Mauve. Mauve. Whatever color that is. Yo. To Sam get Salmon. To get Omega. Fancy. On the fucking, on the clearance rack, just out of nowhere. When we went to Fan Expo, you could not find this Omega anywhere. Because I was looking for Omega. Right. And I couldn't find it anywhere. And I just walked by and it just happened to be bang on the clearance rack. There's the clearance ticker, sticker and everything. The fucking thing about this clearance sticker is it doesn't peel. I was trying to peel it and it's stuck. The little sticker peels off nicely. Right. But these big, this big one, oh, I see. like that big one, can't. no, that little sticker peels off really easy. But this big one, look, I tried to peel it, and it, it leaves a sticky thing behind and stuff. And I was like, whatever, I don't care. As long as I have the Omega, like, yo, to get Omega. And then the Bad Batch series just ended. Right. I think the last episode of the last Bad Batch ever just ended. Ever? So there's no more Bad Batch? I don't Batch? think there's going to be a Bad Batch anymore. They, they ended the series. That's good. And those guys are retired, like, retired, sort of. Like, they're off That's on good. their own. So that means... And now she's grown up and just and left. That's and awesome. Like, it's awesome. If I can, the only thing, if I can find an Omega, a grown-up Omega, I don't know if they'll ever sell that because she's only in a grown-up Omega was only in for two minutes of the of the end of the series. Right. They just like sort of fast forwarded and did this like it's like a credits. It's almost like a credits. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. They did like a little two-minute video of Omega, and look at that guy just sitting there on the fucking clearance rack, guy, just like that. Twenty bucks, bang! I got so happy. I saw. I couldn't believe it. I stood in front of the clearance rack for like five minutes and my daughter was like, Daddy, what are we doing? I'm like, yo, I can't believe that I found this. The thing about these 
Because I see them all the time, but I don't know who's who, who's who. Yeah. So I think I've seen this before, but wow. You know. Yeah, yo, that's that's a that. But in all honesty, this is a find and a half because yeah. this this character right now, I could sell for probably quadruple the price. Because I know I've seen this one before. Yeah, yeah. And I know I've seen. But this. that's why he's still expensive, though, because everybody knows who the Mandalorian is, right? Din Djarin or whatever. Yes. 